Okay, in this video we're going to talk about your video hosting options. You're going to do a little comparison of the most popular options and when you should use each one. So let's get started with YouTube. Uh, YouTube has over 800 million unique users uh, every month uh, with over 4 billion hours of video are watched every month on YouTube. So that's huge volumes of traffic keep that in mind. Uh, it has the natural viral nature because YouTube makes it really easy to share your videos while that's great for exposure it's not great for your paid content so that's something you need to keep in mind as well when you're creating paid content YouTube might not be your best option. Um, their embed code is really easy to use on your blog and other places so that makes it good for video blogging um, on YouTube you can create your own channel and this is really good for building your own brand socializing with other people um, people need to realize that YouTube is also a social network so you need to connect with other people on YouTube and the more you do that and the more comments you leave on other people's channels and stuff the more that's going to um, build your authority for your own channel so YouTube's great for building a following which YouTube calls subscribers. Another thing to know that YouTube is owned by Google so this makes it easier for your content to appear in the search engines. So overall YouTube's really great for building your brand by giving out free content. Uh, it's good for video blogging using their embed code and it's also really good for driving traffic because YouTube has a lot of it. So our next option for video hosting is Vimeo and Vimeo requires a pro account if you are going to promote your products or services and even then pro accounts still have res restrictions such as upload space and even view counts uh, it also costs around ten dollars a month to get the pro account you can upload videos to there but if you want to customize your video player and get your video statistics then you need a pro account so there's your pro and con right there it has a customizable video player uh, but it costs money um, and you can the embed code is really easy to use as well if you're going to use that for your video blogging or on other web pages most cases um, uh, Vimeo hosts more professionally done videos it's kind of like a video um, what video experts use uh, in the industry just like professionals who create videos to like create actual good videos not just like random videos that you see on YouTube all the time. They're more polished and more professional looking and they offer a training section to how to make better videos. So if you're really into video making, video editing and stuff like that, then Vimeo is a really cool place to hang out and get used to because basically there's a lot of other people on there that uh, want to help you make better videos. Um, another option for hosting your videos is using Amazon S3 and Amazon will host your files including videos but it doesn't offer an embed code so this is where it becomes a little bit more difficult to get your videos embedded on your website um, this hosting option is a pay-as-you-go and you can run HD videos from your website with smooth quality even under heavy traffic so if you're having a surge of traffic to your website or your sales page then um, you're definitely going to want to go with this option because you don't want to have um, YouTube uh, embedded on your sales page it just looks unprofessional and especially when you're creating paid content you really don't want to um, have the YouTube on there embedded because then it's just like oh I could have watched this on YouTube for free so this is why you want to use um, Amazon S3 to host your videos um, so the process is a little different than just grabbing an embed code from from uh, YouTube. Um, first, you want to pr produce your video to an MP4 and then upload your video to the Amazon S3 servers. Um, Kyle, I need you to pause for a second. Let's scroll down here. Okay, coming back. Three, two, one. Then you want to create web access via Amazon CloudFront for that S3 bucket. Um, 
you're going to want to go to Amazon and uh, and actually learn their procedures because I don't. This isn't a video about how to do Amazon S3. It's more about your options. But I will give you a quick run through. So go to Amazon <coughs> S3, get a hosting uh, account with them. Then you're going to want to install a Flash Movie Player on your server. Uh, JW Player or Flow Player are your free players. And Easy Video Suite is a paid version that a lot of marketers are using. So it's up to you if you want to have a free um, video player or a more professional paid one. Once you have the player unzipped onto your web server, you can create an HTML code for your videos to be embedded. JW Player comes with a handy setup wizard that will allow you to create the HTML code for your own movies. And then you can embed it to your website. Just uh, follow the service documentation from Amazon S3 and from your, if you go with JW Player or your other video player options, just check out their documentation because they're going to do a better job explaining it, how to get it all going than I can in this video and I don't want to waste your time. So Amazon S3 is a really great hosting option if you have paid video content areas um, for any products that you've created or membership sites.